Well, good morning, Pine Belt. Uh, back to school, back to work uh, Friday Eve here on a Thursday, which is still looking pretty good. A, for your completely arbitrary school day letter grade forecast, but uh, that's down from where it has been. But uh, it's hard to replicate those last two days we've had, which were practically perfect in every way. Temperature, humidity, sky condition. You don't get any better than what we just had. And it's still pretty good today, but we're starting to edge away more towards where we typically spend summer where it's a little warmer than it should be or a lot warmer but in this case a little and more humid than it should be so it's now cool ish instead of cool or even chilly like we started off the week with a warmer day ahead so as we look out in the distance you can see that kind of haziness that we get as uh, air quality is is good there's no fires or anything that I can tell of in the area we are seeing some patchy fog popping up but that's just telling you that the water vapors there it's just not really condensing and laurel here like you saw at South Central Regional Medical Center or here at Laurel Ford, even though these are among the cooler spots out there, falling down into the mid 50s with most locations being in the uh, uh, in the upper 50s or low 60s out there. So not a major deal, but you may encounter some fog out there as you get about out and about for your morning commute, but should not be a major issue. So yellow light here, no nothing dramatic going on. So just be aware of that and slow down if you encounter it. It won't last too long once we head into the later parts of the morning and climb back into those 60s and eventually the mid 80s, which may even go higher. I had it as high as 87 earlier this week for today when I thought the uh, cloud cover would stay away a bit longer. Now it looks like it's moving in a little bit earlier shortly after lunchtime and may shade us and cool us that two degrees. So still warmer than it should be by a handful and noticeably more humid but not dramatically so just noticeably out there and that's really just compared to the last couple of days so sky conditions right now still looking pretty good as far as mostly clear skies and then as we head into the afternoon again things pop as they warm up I'm expecting we'll get to about partly sunny which is 50 50 and then I'm just going to let it run all the way into Saturday and maybe even Sunday. Uh, you see those clouds thin a bit here, come back a bit there. That's pretty much where we're going to be stuck as soon as those clouds thicken to 50-50 today. That's where we'll be for about the next 10 days. It's not really going to break. We're not going to see significant dry air. And it does even get rainy about in the middle of that point uh, as well. But today, none of that. Just those clouds after a nice sunny start to the day, we'll end up seeing those move in. And even then, I, you know, I keep talking about clouds like it's going to ruin your day. It's, ah, you're still going to see a good amount of sun there and be quite nice. And that carries on into the weekend as well. But it just keeps getting more humid as well, especially as we head into uh, the end of the week here, getting very close to 70 for a morning start there. That's uh, downright muggy, I would say. Then as we head into the start of next week, you see the temperature going down, but that's only because those clouds thicken a bit more and rain moves in, which I really don't expect much for Sunday there, but I, I try to give you all the earliest time things can happen sometimes. So that's what that 10 percent is about. It may rain like overnight on Sunday into Monday morning, and then that's when you see our humidity really starts to uh, it's rather consistent anyway, but bumps up above that uh, comfy range and gets more towards sticky. But again, we're not talking about much rain moving in until Monday into Tuesday, and even then it looks fairly scattered about as a front will ba basically be falling apart as it pushes in and we'll need some of that afternoon heat to get it going, which you see as it moves in here and kind of breaks down and flares up again but we're never quite getting that cold dry air to push in on the backside so that's why despite that rain moving in to start next week you know we steadily kind of work our way up into the uh, 80s and once we start heading towards the middle of next week that's 86 and shortly after that we get very close to 90 very quickly